You know, I hope that if I die and get reincarnated, I can come back as a bird. Because all I want to do is fly. Every single time I see a bird, I just saw this beautiful bird, and I'm so fucking jealous. That's all I want to do, man. Just fly around this bitch. <laughs> You know, I, I know that you guys know what I'm saying. That, that's why I love riding my bike. Because it's like the closest thing to feeling like you're flying. Hey, you got to do that, man. You know, I say that all the time. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna go out biking. But I just have so much shit to do, you know. I'm wondering if, like, you know, shit pops off. You know, we won't be able to do anything. I just have no idea what's going to happen. Like, because you just never know, like, the timing of these things might happen tomorrow might happen in, you know a couple months a couple years it's all gonna happen like under the radar too like they gotta cover everything up because you know they gotta keep the sheep subdued if they keep the sheep subdued the people don't know what the hell's going on then all this stuff can happen like behind the scenes. That's what Trump was doing the whole fucking time. It was crazy, man. Like a lot of shit happened nobody even knew about. <laughs> it was just amusing, really. It's amusing that so many people in America, on the left and the right and the middle, like, just didn't get the joke. You know? America's the joke. Do y'all know that? America's a fucking joke. America's always been a joke. It's always been a show. It's always been a giant fuckery, basically. And if Donald Trump didn't prove that, and I'm not even talking about his presidency, I'm, I'm talking about the fact that he was elected, period, point blank. Or, I'm sorry, my bad. Selected. Just like all of them. I mean, it's just crazy. Like, they... They can't see that shit. They can't see it. It's right there in front of them. But I guess they just don't know what to look for. And if you don't know what to look for, you're not going to be able to see it. That's just pretty simple, I guess. But anyway. Shout out to Zachary Hubbard once again. I love you. Thank you so much for what you do. He's probably not watching this, but... <laughs> If he is, hello. There are several people on the internet that have really helped me out. You know, that's what the internet's for. Like, it's just crazy to me. Like, like people have these, these phones, right? These amazing phones. I don't have one of these phones. But I can see how useful they are. You know, I'm not going to contribute to that mess. I'm not gonna go in that direction with society. That direction is death, okay? I took a stand and a lot of people don't understand that because they don't understand, you know, making a decision that's contrary to what everybody else is doing. But, you know, I don't judge people for having them because that's just, you know, it's the way of the world, like they say, you know, slavery. But, um, like, I, I look at how, how useful it is you know, you can look up all these things on that phone. And so for everybody to be so stupid, so bloody stupid, I mean, it's just pathetic. I mean, how can you possibly have hope in Western civilization, you know? It's like, how are we civilized if we chose that? If we choose to be this stupid. We choose to be this ignorant. We choose to turn a blind eye to the most horrific, god-awful monstrosities that occur. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. It's just so depressing living in this world. Now, if you bask in God's grace, if you bask in the sunlight of the Spirit, you know, this stuff doesn't get to you as much. I mean, it still gets to you, but it's, it's like, well, at least there's God, you know. <laughs> God's still here. God's still got it. But, I mean, it's very, very sad. When the smog lives in California, you see LA. That's hilarious, dude. 
Whoever that bitch is that owns the floral shop, she's funny. Even though she's a liberal. <laughs> How do you know she's a liberal? I don't know. There, there was one uh, floral shop billboard that kind of gave it away. I don't remember what it said exactly, but... I don't know. It was, it was obvious that she wasn't into uh, Donald Trump. I mean, maybe she's not a liberal. Maybe she just didn't like Trump. There are a lot of people that didn't like Trump. Y'all remember? Do y'all remember that shit? <laughs> oh. Yeah, man. Like, right now, we are basking in the sunlight of the spirit. And the actual sunlight as well. I know I complain about the sun a lot, but it's nice to have it, you know, enjoy it while it lasts because old Billy Gates wants to control that shit too. <laughs> I mean, they're all fucking puppets, man. They're all puppets. So it's like people can rail on him all they want, but it's pointless because he's just a pawn. Like the people that, not people, they're not people, but say the pieces of excrement that control the world you know they're they're just using all these uh celebrities all these entertainers these supposed uh philanthropists <laughs> that's a funny word that just means you uh eat children um <laughs> like <laughs> yeah like they're using all these these uh pieces of garbage to, uh, you know, push their little agenda. You hear that? That's the sound of an impatient motherfucker that's probably going to kill themselves. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just stop there. <laughs> Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm not mad. I'm glad I'm not one of those impatient pieces of garbage, you know? <laughs> but yeah, like, anyway. Yeah, these puppets, these pawns, these, um these actors they're all they're all paid actors politicians are actors you know um like my muslim friend that i work with who's from uh i believe he's from iraq or no no iran i think he's from iran um he uh was telling me that just just from his understanding with politics and he was speaking about his country as well you know, he was like, it's all acting. Um, I just following a script. So, I know that, that Trump made it seem like he wasn't doing that, but he still was doing that. But he was following his own script, because uh, the garbage, the garbage uh, people that um, are pulling his strings were telling him, okay, Donald, j just be yourself, okay? <laughs> That will uh, piss off these people and um, excite these people. So it's like what the Donald was uh, told to do, essentially, was ignite both the left and the right um, for different reasons. And it worked, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, like their little plan. Um, is actually really brilliant. <laughs> like, if you look at it from a bigger picture perspective, it's like, whoa. <laughs> These garbage people are pretty genius. They're pretty good at what they do. But yeah, so, you hear that? That's my, that's my cowbell. Isn't that awesome? It made me so happy banging on it. It made CJ, like, ecstatic. <laughs> CJ told me that she's 41. She's celebrating her 41st birthday. I'm like, that is crazy, bitch. You look like you're in your 20s. Like, she's smoking hot. I know the Vortex agrees with me. She is so fucking beautiful. But, you know, she takes good care of herself. You can tell she's uh, conservative. <laughs> yeah, they tend to look better than the liberal... Bonies. But anyway, 
Yes, I'm so excited about this pasta, you guys. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Gonna work on my comedy, probably put some videos up, but I love you, goodbye.